no questions because if you don't ask questions you can't get no answers you have no frame of reference to compare information to without the question so um as i proceed to make my march to the top down here she gonna know because my next one is i'm gonna read the signs in real time all the way up to her doorstep and then she gonna really know who i'm talking to for anybody who might be confused if i have to do it that way i will but this is part of something that's bigger than me so if it was just something i was interested in for just for me i could let it go but when it comes to all of these people innocent being misled to hell and all of these children being used for food and as sex toys i got to do something now so take the brakes off your children's mind yeah it's because they used to beat it out of us you want to hide something from a nigga put it in the book so I knew it was something hidden there. I stayed in every, I read whole entire libraries of books. Trying to find the keys. And I got them. I got the whole key ring. It's one key left. I'm coming for that one. So, um, just letting y'all know, it's going down. I ain't backing down. I'm coming for mine. It's Pusha T say, don't be scared, get everything you came for. I'm coming to get it all. The funny thing about me being in that position versus them is, I believe in sharing wealth. I believe in sharing wealth. And, um, but I don't believe in sharing wealth for no, um, Nobody didn't feel like they automatically should get something because I got it. You didn't do what I did. If you didn't do what I did, why do you think you deserve what I got? Entitled ass motherfuckers. You didn't do what I did, but you think you deserve everything I got. Crazy. I'm insane. I worked for everything I got and earned it. But you supposed to have it, not me. That's some craziest shit I ever heard. Come get it if you want it. That's what you do. That's how you do that. You get your click, put your posse together, and ride down and try to come get it. But I'm telling you now, it's not going to turn out like you think. I've already been victorious in heaven. and ain't nothing down here to stop me. I done been approved in, in this country by every known gang it is. Bikers. Disciples, Bloods, Crips, Vice Lords. I can hear you. Damn, I was wondering what the, Hey, you know, they, uh, man, they, they tried to stop us from doing these classes, man. Uh, the damn internet got took out. And then, uh, like today, I was supposed to be going somewhere right now, but I told them I'm going to just wait till, uh, till we got the show to do it, to go out to that store. Uh, <laughs> I did a live the other day to go over that information, but we can re rehash it. Yeah, yeah, because hey, hey, people, people want. I know you did a live on it, uh, and people wanted. It, they was waiting, man. What, what does more? Uh, what does uh, brother Rod Haynes think about the dirty moors? Or who, who when he say dirty moors, who are you talking about? You know, who is he talking about? They want to know all this stuff, man. I got, I got the questions right here too. Uh, mm -hmm. We want to go over those. Does all contracts have a lifespan? That's the first question on there. Uh, so we gonna get get to crack it, man. Get to crack it. Can you put the question list up? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Hold up. Let me Let's do see it. the questions we the questions we dealing with today. Okay, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, boom. All right. First question right here. Uh, man, I can't blow it up, but oh, that's good enough. Let's be good. Hold on, I didn't want to show you a number on it. Let me uh, uh, let me see how I can do it without showing a number. Uh, dang. Hold up. Uh. Man, copy, I, I, copy it and paste it to um to the um uh, to the notepad. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. That's what I do. Uh, uh, hold up. The number's still gonna be on there. You're doing it while you're on the um. Then hold up, hold up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, look, I'm doing it off my phone, so uh, cause my damn laptop is 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 crazy right now, man. That joint. 
I gotta get a new joint, man. Hold up, uh, I gotta get a new joint, man. Yeah, but they probably won't be able to call you anyway, man. They don't. They be they doing something with the phones on their joint. All right, can you see it now? Mm-hmm. The first question: Does all contracts have a lifespan? <clears throat> the answer to that is definite yes. There's three ways to end a contract, right? And the first way is a breach of contract, meaning that one of the parties of the contract didn't hold up the end of the agreement. That's a breach of contract, which cancels the contract if the person who um, breaches the contract can't perform specific performance is what it's called in law. Mm -hmm. So if they don't execute specific performance to catch the contract up, then the other party to the contract then becomes revokes the contract. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Second one is the lifespan of the contract is when both ends, both parties meet the agreement in the contract that that concludes business with that contract. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And the third is that the contract is predicated upon a fraud. All fraudulent contracts are automatically null and void. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which takes us to the corporate contract of the United States that they was using to exercise um, corporate jurisdiction over the actual people of the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? So mm -hmm. this is what Taj be talking about when he say a de facto government. Right? And he's telling us we mm -hmm. the, the, the jure. The de jure is the ones who had a right to exercise galactic law or supreme law or God's law on earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, so would it be uh, right to say that the that, that, that Enlil made a contract with his people and uh, it's a fraud? It's a fraud. Look, they, they, they assume the position of color of law. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Just because they assume don't mean they right. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. All right. So we already know that they whole system is false based on the illusion that somebody else have more right to what's yours than you do. Mm hmm. Right. So they're not trying to keep it. They trying to control it as long as they can keep you from reclaiming it. Mm hmm. How do you reclaim mm -hmm. it? You can't use a system to reclaim it. They system mm -hmm. is designed that anything you do in a system proves you're imbecile in law. Mm -hmm. Meaning that you don't know the cause of the contract. That means you can't acti activate any remedy. Mm -hmm. Where there is no remedy, you know what I'm saying, there can be no performance. Mm -hmm. So they already bankrupt. They've been bankrupt since the beginning. George mm -hmm. Washington filed bankruptcy. Roosevelt filed bankruptcy in uh, 07. That was George Dummy filed bankruptcy. It's a wrap. Mm -hmm. They don't have any means except for our people that keep contracting with their corporate um, entities, the dead system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So long as we don't know, until a certain amount of us know, it can't flip. But it's going to get to critical mass sooner or later. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Hey, let me, let me make this quick announcement. Hey, uh, if you want to show the brother uh, Rod Haynes some love, I just posted the, uh, his cash app in the link. So you hit that cash app, man. You want to show us some love, man. We back at it again. We back on it. This is a new month. We uh we put we're gonna put in this work this month. So uh we got the brother on with the question and answer. Also, if you got any more questions, we're gonna be taking the questions. Uh, you can drop those in the link, and I can write them down, and we'll ask the brother uh, at the end of the class. Um, what else we got right there? Okay, ah uh, yeah, so we good to go, man. Uh, that was the first. That was the first uh question right there. The next question is, uh, let me let me uh, pull it up real quick. Man, I can't wait till I get my new laptop, bro. Cause it's uh, it's easy on the laptop. On the phone, it's like you know. And I need a new phone too, man. Cause the phone I can't even get. Uh, I'm telling you, man. Ever since we started talking, that my phone don't even get calls no more. I I, I gotta go and see the missed call and then look back in the link at the joint. Uh, make you sure. Go back to your notepad. All right, I'm going back to the notepad right now. All right, the the, the uh. The second question for uh, the Moore's questions is, what was the lifespan of the de facto corporation contract? Okay, so they wrote two con they brought two contracts with them when they came. One is the contract of the Bible, mm -hmm. right, which had a 400-year lifespan. Mm -hmm. The second contract they brought 200 years later. Mm -hmm. They had a 200-year lifespan. 
Mm -hmm. Right. That was the agreements mm -hmm. we went over with George Washington that said we wouldn't know ourselves from them motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. That's the 200 year contract under the uh, the legal fiction. The law was mm -hmm. only they only maintained their jurisdiction for the life of the contract because it was written in the blood of Crispus Atticus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And none of the blood of righteousness be spilt in vain. And they knew that. That's why they keep murdering the chiefs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they still ain't stopped. But they ain't going <laughs> to stop until we stop. Mm -hmm. But we ain't going to stop until we get unified and organized and understand what's taking place on the land. Hey, uh, also, uh, we read on that last show where they said they, they made an oath to kill off these princes and chiefs. Yes. And things. We read that, right? Yeah. Yep. So that's we went we over them. You still got them? You want to pull up to uh, 200 years when George Washington and then pull up the bloody oath so the newcomers can see it? Uh, see, I, it's on my laptop. It ain't on my phone. Um, oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. But, hey, look, the next class we do, I'm going to be back on the laptop because I'm getting it redone right now. So uh, the next class, we're going to be back on the laptop so we can get back in on the uh, pulling up the receipts. Now, I can kind of pull up receipts on my phone, but it's going to be just a little different from the laptop. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But uh, Kubo did this class, class uh, last week. Yep. But uh, damn, I'll tell you, man. They don't third uh, question. What huh? What's the third question? All right, third question. Let's pull it up. Let's see. Now, third. remember, 200 years of life of the contract. If they don't know the life of the contract, they can't do nothing about it. Okay, all right. The third question is, once the de facto corporation contracts expire or is terminated, losing even color of law, uh, jurisdiction, what happens to the contract when the de jure, the de jure pr procedures proceeds as if the contract is still active? Okay, so they revisit in the dead contract. The more they revisit it, the longer it becomes in effect. It's only in effect because they keep revisiting the contract. Mm -hmm. Right, which takes us to the fourth question. Fourth you, question. Go ahead. What you is, read it? Yeah, what is contract resurrected? Mm -hmm. Right. So that's when you keep going back to the dead contract, reactivating things in the contract that already expired. Like the demand for you to have a driver's license is expired. The demand for your uh, social security account is expired. Mm -hmm. All of the contracts that control your um, land and wealth has expired or they either defaulted on them. They mm -hmm. never upheld a single contract because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. they knew the contract was never with the original people. And mm -hmm. that's why they had to write the, the, the 200 year contract in the blood of Christmas Atticus. Because now the contract under the blood rights has to be fulfilled. The contract mm -hmm. was fulfilled July the 4th, 2019. So if they don't know that the contract has been fulfilled and the uh, de facto corporation has been removed from the land and we in transitional government, they haven't been doing their research and their background work. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. not as tied in or in tune as they claim to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now mm -hmm. they showed you, we didn't already showed them where they gave us everything back in the Indigenous Rights Act, remember? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh right? So uh -huh. all we have to do is return back to our original stuff and we get to take back was rightfully ours. Okay, now, mm -hmm. what's the next question? Who is responsible to inform the people in the de jure capacity of the death of the contract? So who job is that? If mm -hmm. the Moors can't tell you who job that is, then they're not on top of their job. Because it's any one of the chiefs on the land who discovers the anomaly is obligated to report it to his people. Uh -huh. It's up to the people to determine the course of action to take as a collective at that point. So we bring mm -hmm. all of the chiefs on the land together to try to re resolve the matter. So now, while I'm doing the alerting of the grassroots of our people, the chiefs is in the background having discussions on restoring the land. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. What's the next one? Uh, who is responsible to inform, oh, you, you already pretty much who is responsible to inform the people in the de jure uh, oh, that's the one we get Six. Huh? Number six. Okay, six. Six is once the contract expires, who knows the process of re uh, re reclamation of jurisdiction? Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. So now, even if they uh, know 
all the stuff we said before, do they know how to reclaim the superior jurisdiction of the de jure, which means how to restore the law of the land in place of the law of the high seas, which was the admiralty law. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. So first we got to seize the flag of the de facto corporation, which was the admiralty flag, from mm -hmm. their false crash or wreck because they got us under salvage rights. The only way to be reclaimed from under the salvage right is to restore the jurisdiction of the land by staking the flag behind the flag of the admiralty, which overthrows and occupy that seat, which mm -hmm. was the president of the house, which was Nancy Pelosi's seat. And you remember when we went over that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. So we already did that. Then the next thing we had to do was we had to stake a totem pole because the uh, feathers don't use flags. We use totem poles. Mm -hmm. So we showed them that, right? Remember when we showed them the totem pole being put up? Yep, yep, y'all. They all, that was in 2000 and uh, it was 19, I think, 18. I mean, we showed it to them, but like, you know, so they they, they drove it all well, the way across we, the country. We're going to go state. back into it. Watch this. Go to the next question. Okay. Uh, seven. seven. It's uh, where, where were you, you aware, aware that I seized the Federal Reserves on August the 19th, 2019? Right? They don't know mm -hmm. nothing about that. Click that that so they can see the post. Got it. <clears throat> okay, there we go. What that oh, say? Put... To America was in the contract of the dollar bill. The contract stemmed from treaties Moors made with nations of Europe. No one could buy or sell without going through central banks using the markers or the mark that represent an IOU, which is an acronym for IOU, established an automatic debt, debt equal slavery, which is concealed in the 14th Amendment, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is look at the date, August 19th, 2019, right? Mm -hmm. All right. And this is how we put it in the public domain right here, right? This The 14th Amendment strips away the unalienable rights the God, that is, Queen of Heaven and Earth, has given you as providence. When the banks, by way of Zionist Jews, or as we say, Satanic Jews, are traced back, we get to the crown of England, first city-state, then you discover she maintains her economic control by renting the land her company sits on through her royal court of barristers. Bar members, judges, and lawyers who trade your soul in bonds we call certificate of live birth, as in birthing the canal, portal of life, harbor, etc. Mm -hmm. Right? We don't got to read it all, but this was claiming the key. Pull, go down to the pictures. Oh, shit, son. When I seized that, I also seized the Catholic Church. You see it? Yeah. All right. You see where that number three at? Click that picture and you're going to see them praying to the Moor. They're going to actually be playing to the Black Madonna. Right there. Right? And that's both folks. Francis and Benedict. Remember the movie Tale of Two Popes? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. Scroll down some more. Look at a couple more of them. See, the pictures have to be present to prove the point. These are the receipts. Keep scrolling. All right, that's the bottom one right there. Okay, so now, those are the priestly ruler implements. So you had to seize that to seize the uh, the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Right? So it's all in the popes. Now let's go back to the question. Let's go to the next question. Uh, they wasn't yeah, aware we that, that we seized the Pope, the Vatican, Buckingham Palace, and D.C. on August the 19th, 2019. Right? Were mm -hmm. you aware of the transfer of the Admiralty jurisdiction by law of the flag occupation and reclamation by the shaman on January the 6th, 2020? Click the post. When Nancy Pelosi got over her finger? You sank my effing battleship. Oh, you sank my <laughs> you sank my effing battleship. Right. You see my man sitting behind the desk? Yeah. He is a trained shaman by the original people of the earth. He was trained and he was recruited by QAnons to do this, this seizure of the post of Nancy Pelosi. Once he done that, he seized the admiralty jurisdiction by occupying um, that is heavy. 
by occupying the, the, the seat of power, the seat of government. Mm -hmm, Remember, mm -hmm. the president is the commander in chief of the armed forces. He's not the president of the political uh, body. She was. So he had to seize her admiralty flag jurisdiction by occupying her seat with the law, with the flag of the land so we can re-implement the law from the land. And that's when we had to put the totem pole in the public domain right up in D.C. to reclaim that 10 square mile crash site as indigenous land. All right. What's the next question? Oh, yeah, this is, I'm going to look up that Sherman shit. That's heavy. Okay, that, we on uh, nine. Were you aware the transfer of land from Republic to tribal occurred with a totem pole ceremony, which we just got done talking of, to establish Washington, D.C. as tribal jurisdiction for purposes of the Indigenous Rights Act? Click the post. Let's click the post. Since they say I don't have no receipts. I don't know um, where did all this shit come from. Let me go. Uh, Native Americans bring totem pole across capital to rise awareness. Raise awareness. There you go. When you do the research, you're gonna find that it came all the way across the country. You see you him blessing. You see him doing the smudge, right? 